The Bible has a lot to say about the end times. The end times concern the second coming of Christ. This video clip depicts what will happen to the nations and the church in the times that surround Christ's return. The timeline, which is not to scale, shows the past on the left and the future on the right. It centres on the second coming of Christ. The earth is represented by a light green strip in the middle of the picture, with the heavens above and hell below. The second coming of Christ is preceded by the Great Tribulation and followed by the Millennium. This diagram is highly schematic. For example, the Great Tribulation, which lasts only three and a half years, is given a, the same amount of space as the Millennium, which lasts about a thousand years. The Bible says that nobody knows exactly when Christ will return, not even Christ himself. When Christ returns, all the believers will be called up to be with Christ in the clouds. The fact that the church is still on earth means that the second coming of Christ is still in the future. The Bible says that the second coming of Christ will be preceded by a period of great suffering called the Great Tribulation. The suffering will be so great and so intense, such as has never been seen by man before. During this time, there will be wars and famines, and the Christians will be persecuted by a figure called the Antichrist. When Christ returns, it will be too late to repent and become a Christian. The second coming of Christ therefore represents the end of this age as we know it. When Christ returns, those who are dead in Christ will be resurrected and those who are alive will be called up to be with him in the clouds as well. This is called the first resurrection. Blessed are those who are involved in the first resurrection. It is also referred to in the Gospels as the rapture of the believers, or the harvest at the end of the age. In fact, there will be two harvests at the end of the age, one by the Son of Man and another by the angel in charge of the fire. The church is composed of those who profess to be Christians. Not everybody who professes to be a Christian is a true believer, born again with Christ living in their heart. The Bible tells us that in the church there are false believers, wolves in sheep's clothing, weeds, These are people who don't believe in God and don't have the Holy Spirit living in them. They are just trying to go through the motions and are deceiving themselves. The believers will be called up to be with Christ in the clouds and the nations will be left on earth. There will be a great celebration in heaven and the believers will be rewarded for the things that they have done whilst in the body. There will be a marriage and the believers will reign with Christ for 1,000 years. After the 1,000 years are over, all authority will be given back to God. The Bride of Christ will descend from heaven to become the new Jerusalem on a new earth and there will be a new heaven. God will dwell with man on earth for all eternity. Christians who die in this age will go to a place called paradise 
Whereas non Christians who die in this age will go to a place called Hades. The Great Tribulation is the final three and a half years of the current age. Given the number of wars, famines and natural disasters that have happened in recent times, the Great Tribulation may have already started. The Bible says that the Great Tribulation will not start until the man of lawlessness, the Antichrist, is revealed. He will exalt himself above everything that is worshipped and he will declare himself to be God. He will persecute the true believers and anybody who does not worship him will be put to death. I am not so sure that such a person has appeared on the world stage as yet. Therefore, I believe that the Great Tribulation is probably in the future as well. The Bible says that there will be a small number of believers who have kept themselves pure. These will be the first fruits. They will be raptured before the Great Tribulation starts. In a nutshell, this diagram illustrates the pre-millennial return of Christ, the pre-tribulation rapture of a small number of believers called the first fruits, and the post-tribulation rapture, but pre-wrath rapture of the great majority of believers called the great multitude. The church will be persecuted for 1260 days or 42 months or three and a half years times time and time and a half half a week of Daniel. After this they will be raptured to be with Christ leaving the nations on earth to suffer God's wrath.